What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Deville with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Alexander Usyk. Get this. Usyk is considering another run at cruiserweight to collect a few more of the world belts. Alexander Usyk apparently thinks he can give the cruiserweight division under the go, the current WBO, WBA, IBO, and IBF heavyweight champion from Ukraine previously held all four major titles in the cruiserweight division. The first to do so in a four belt era, Usyk recorded the achievement in 2018 with a points win over Murat Gassiev in Moscow. Usyk then made one successful defense of his title, a win over Tony Bellew, before moving up to heavyweight ranks, where he became unified last September with a points win over Anthony Joshua, and he defended it against Joshua in Saudi Arabia. Since then, Usyk, which is 35, mind you, 35, has made it clear that he is interested in unifying all four belts of the heavyweight division in a fight against the WBC titleist Tyson Fury. The two, however, will not be fighting each other next due to disagreement regarding schedule. If Usyk cannot get Fury anytime soon, he is, he is apparently considering a few other plan Bs, including one that will see him drop back down to the 200-pound limit once more to collect titles. Usyk has already indicated that he is open to the idea of fighting the 168-pound champion Canelo Alvarez in a catchweight bout at cruiserweight. So in a recent interview, Usyk <clears throat> said he may even stay at cruiserweight long enough to pick up a few more titles that he once held in his possession. Usyk also revealed that being a heavyweight has a significant toll on him, particularly the obligation to eat all the time in order to maintain the physique that would allow him to be competitive in that class. He said, quote, I was thinking about returning to cruiserweight and getting a few more of the world belts, Usyk told uh, Paramatch. You know, being a heavyweight means you have to really be heavy. You must eat a lot. It's not hard to see. It's not hard to fight with these giants, but it's really hard to eat all the time. And now I work so much more than I did at cruiserweight, particularly in training camps, Usyk said. I had to swim 10 kilometers and train hard at this moment. I just want to stop and take a rest. A half a year of training is hard work. I didn't see my family for such a long time. I didn't see my wife, children, or anyone. The belts at cruiserweight division are currently scattered. South Africa's Yunga Makabu owns the WBC. Francis Arson um, Golamian, Golamirian the WBA, Australians Jao uh, Apetai, the IBF, and England's Lawrence Akali with the WBO. And let me counterpunch. Um, I look at boxing and a lot of things. History normally repeats itself. And I feel that Alexander Usyk going to cruiserweight could be the worst thing that he could ever do. Okay. For one, it's counterproductive. You know, you have piled on all this weight, okay? And then you train, so then, you know, you're, you're using the food as fuel to get bigger, to stay bigger, to stay more fit, to put on the muscle mass, the armor of that division. You know, it takes a toll on your body because you're originally not that big, but you're there now, and you're 35, Remember, I said 35 guys. OK, stay with me here. And <clears throat> I think I know it's just an idea, but some that's how things start. It starts with an idea. And I think it's a very bad idea. And this is the other reason. OK, the second reason was because. When you start to lose weight, right. You normally uh, end up in a situation where you don't. Uh, <clears throat> you're not as powerful, you're not as strong, um, and you strip away this muscle mass, it's not good for anybody that age, you know, 35 years of age, you're looking at the end of your career, this is not the beginning, this is not something that he decided to do at 25, that's a big difference, you know, at 25, 
you have the, you know, all your levels are high, your testosterone and everything else is higher than they normally would be because you're younger. Your body's more adaptable at that age, not at 35. Okay. And let me give you guys a history lesson on 35. Who was one of the best fighters on the planet? Probably uh, all time great hall of famer, fighter of the decade, fighter of the nineties. And you know who that was? That was Roy Jones Jr. Roy Jones Jr., mind you, was knocked out by who? Antonio Tarver at age what? 35. 35 years old, he was knocked out by Antonio Tarver. And then he explained later the worst thing that he could have ever done was go from heavyweight back down. Okay? And shrinking down or, or re reforming down to a weight that you haven't fought in, what, two years, three years, right? It could put a toll on you at that age. And you could find yourself in a position where things are not the same. You once was a cruiserweight, but now you're the heavyweight champion. I say embrace it before you find out trying to go down there and you would see what problems you will have. You will see maybe you would you think in, in theory, you would think, you know what? I'm going to be faster. I'm going to be stronger. I'll be hitting these younger guys and these smaller guys because I'm used to hitting these bigger guys. You know, you better ask Andy Ruiz because Andy Ruiz thought that same shit. And what happened? He got chinned. As soon as he dropped weight, he was no longer stronger because you have the, all of your levels and, and, and your fluid levels and everything has to reform to that. If it, your body has to adapt and sometimes it takes longer than others. And so when he, if he does decide to go to cruiserweight, back to cruiserweight to fight these guys, right? To get some belts that he's already have and get knocked out. You would think to yourself, what a waste of time because you already had those damn belts and you defended those damn belts against a guy that was coming on off of, uh, actually a, uh, from a movie standpoint, and for a uh, celebrity standpoint, um, Tony Bellew, because Tony Bellew retired David Hay, and he did it not once, he did it twice. So then, you know, he get, he knocks him out in the eighth round, right, and gets that respect from uh, Tony Bellew. You know, then he goes up to heavyweight. So, like, there is nothing else that I would see appealing for that. And then who would, what, like, what would you gain anyway that you haven't already gained? Fighting Makabu and Lawrence Okoli? Maybe Lawrence Okoli would be a good fight, maybe. You know what I mean? That would that could be a fight that maybe spark, might spark some interest, right? But other than that, I don't see that there would be any reason for him to go to Cruiserweight. But anyway, um, I would say he would should take heed because if he decides to do that, he may end up like, y'all must have forgot. Roy Jones Jr. Tell me what you think. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been Counterpunch. Peace.